<clears throat> Hello guys, this is Michelle. So, I decided to go ahead and do this video. Um, I'm going to upload it on Wednesday. So, if you're okay seeing it now, it's Wednesday. So, I told, you, I told you guys two months ago that I was going to start doing the video series about the Morgan. Basically, I'm going through the uh, Celtic Lord Spellcraft of the Dark Goddess invoking the Morgan. Um, I did finish reading this book and I did that book review that you guys saw and I thought it was important to do it because I kind of wanted to um, put it out there and hopefully uh, and hopefully it will cause people to want to buy the book and read it. So I will start off with saying that I'm going to all right, this is how it works with with this series. I'm going to go through introduction and go through a chapter leading up to either an exercise, a craft project like um, spell work, incense, oils, um, oils, uh, blends that you can burn on charcoal disc for the Morgan and for her guises and all that. I will sell them. Uh, so I'll, I'll make a batch and if um, you see it and you like it, I will, you know, you give me your your address and I will ship you it. Um, I'm not legally, um, I don't have a bank account so I can't like take people's money, but I will ship it to you and all that type of stuff. You may not get it uh, immediately, but you will get it. Okay, so, um, so it starts off with the charge of the Morgan, which is very, very beautiful. And then you have introduction, the call of the Morgan. Um, and uh, she just basically just gives your introduction to the Morgan, um, and she basically just uh, runs it down. Uh, she doesn't. Sorry. She doesn't. Um, she doesn't really go too complex in the introduction. She talks about the Mists of Avalon and the Hounds of Morgan by name. Um, she talks about um, she talks about that you know, she's the most popular Celtic goddesses goddess in modern paganism. Uh, she ex includes an air of confidence, power, and magic. Um, she survives in various incarnations of the Celtic tradition. Uh, she's a fairy woman, a ghostly phantom, and a mortal queen. Um, and of course, you know, talks about, you know, she talks about her own experiences. Uh, you know, it's, um, you know, she talks about like, the crows visiting and uh, all that type of stuff, and this goes with with my experience um, when I did my Samhain ritual, which there is a, there the ritual that I did came from this book, and when I invoked her the the names of her three sisters and David and all that type of stuff, I felt. Her presence, I felt Dad does presence, and the next day I heard the calling of crows, and so I don't know if that's a sign that I've been chosen by the Morgan or that she's just letting me know that she that she was satisfied with the ritual. But um, 
it was an interesting experience. So yeah, so introduction, she basically shrinks it and basically explains it without really boring you with like 230 pages of introduction. So, um, yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm drawn to the Morgan. Um, I've, I have incorporated her into my Celtic Recon. Um, but yeah, um, but just really, um, just, it, it's, it's really an amazing introduction and I really enjoyed it. And then of course she goes into like the different parts. Um, and how to incorporate the Morgan into a modern day spiritual system. Um, she suggests that she read the background information in part one first in order to become familiar with her myths. And um, that is um, important. Okay, so um, I'm going to stop it here. And the next video is going to be part one, who is the Morgan. And I will basically summarize, um, summarize it. But it was a great introduction. And I do agree with her about read part one, please. All right. So I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.